I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today I am bringing back my Glintstone Jester build, the magic PvP build that I made not too long ago at rune level 200. And uh, he's he's gone through a bit of an update. I'll talk about all of that. Um, but mainly this video is about the rapier itself and it's really ridiculous crit damage So we're gonna play a little bit of a mini game during this uh, this video here um, so we're gonna Right now in the comments. I want you to go down and post Your prediction for the number of crits that I'm gonna get throughout this video the number of parries that I'm gonna hit throughout this video um, So yeah, if you if you get it right you get like a cookie or something. I don't know uh, by the way, if you guys want to see my stats and stuff like that, all that will be at the end of the video, but I do hope you guys stay tuned for the invasions. Uh, we're about to come up on the first couple of parries here, and you're going to see the ridiculous damage of the rapier. Um, <laughs> and it's 130 crit modifier. So that's 1405 there. And that's 1621 there. As you can see, we have a parry counter uh, in the top right of the video. Uh, keeping track of how many times I parry somebody. Anyway, let's talk about this build. Um, so something I think that just kind of flew under the radar for um, the weapons in this game are the crit modifiers. Um, there's not too many weapons that have super high crit modifiers. The highest modifier in the game, I think, is the miss record at 140. The Rapier has a 130 crit modifier. That is a poke weapon, a thrusting weapon, with a higher crit modifier than most daggers in the game. Here's the Bubble Alden Lord, by the way, who does an attack I've never seen him do before. I didn't even know he could do it. Um, absolutely gumba gum stumps this guy right here. Look at him. Oh no, I missed the parry. It was a jump attack, that's why. Uh, don't worry, the bubble other ones are coming clutch and just absolutely annihilate this man. <laughs> anyway, so the rapier has a 130 crit modifier. Uh, that's the third parry, by the way. Um, that's insane. And that damage, uh, the fattest crit in this video you've already seen, it's the 1621 one. Um, that isn't even as high as it could be. This thing could pretty much one-shot anybody in the game if I had like the correct setup to do it with. Um, so I've tried, right now it's magic infused in this video with the glintstone pebble as the ash of war. Um, but it could, it could do even more damage if I keen infused it and then buffed it with magic ornament. And then threw on the dagger talisman. If I did that, I'm almost certain that my crits would go all the way up to like 2000, 1900, something ridiculous like that. It would be nutty. Um, but <laughs> I, uh, there's not really a need for that. I kind of want my sorceries to do damage, so I have like the stuff on to do that. I could replace the crimson amber plus two with the dagger talisman maybe maybe i'll maybe i'll toy with that in the future um but for now this is the setup that we're going with uh yeah so why did i choose the rapier it's kind of a uh, aesthetic for the character if you guys don't know i actually named this guy after rykard not rykard ricard from uh from the dark souls games um and that character is synonymous with having a rapier. Um, if you guys don't know the lore of Rikard, he's like a hero from, uh, I think he's from Astora in the Dark Souls universe. And he's basically just like this hero who's, uh, who's like a myth and his story is always changing. Um, but something that always stays the same is the fact that he uses a rapier. Um, and Rikard's rapier is uh, very good in all the Souls games. And uh, yeah. The last time you guys seen the Jester, the Glintstone Jester, that is this guy right here. He was using the Carrion Knight Sword because I wanted to make use out of Carrion Grandeur. Um, which, this Banish Knight, by the way, absolutely just deleted this whole gang squad. <laughs> and then he finishes off the last one, because of course he does. Um, anyway, what was I saying? The last time you seen this character, 
Uh, his stats were a little bit different. He was at 50 dex and 80 intelligence. He's still at 80 intelligence now. Um, but the reason I had him at 50 dex was because I was actually wrong about something. I know I'm human. I can make mistakes, right? Um, so I used to think that 50 dex was the max um, cast speed that you needed. Look at the pivot right here, by the way. Absolutely destroys me, the fucking pivot. Um, that was actually wrong. The max cast speed for decks in the game is actually not 50, it's actually 70. So, just so you guys know, in order to get max cast speed out of your spell casting and, and whatnot for incantations and sorceries, uh, without Radagon Sword Seal, you would need 70 decks. Uh, Radagon Sword Seal uh, passively adds like 30 decks to your uh, spell casting. So you'd probably want to go to 40 decks, which is what I did in this video. I, I took him from 50 to 40, and then I took two points off of mine. He had 40 mined before. I took him down to 38 because uh, all you need for any build, any build in the game, all you need is 38 mine. You don't need any more than that. The reason for that is because um, your flask, your blue flask, completely refills your bar at 38 but doesn't refill it all the way past that so you're getting maximum value out of your flask when you go to 38 mind at least i believe is how it works i could be wrong about that if i'm wrong about that then let me know um, but i'm pretty sure I'm, I'm spot on about that so i had an extra 12 points to play with so where did i put them at i dumped all the points into endurance um i took them from like 20 something endurance to I think it was 23 endurance before I took them all the way up to 35 endurance with those 12 points um, If I'm doing the math correctly, I, I just know that right now he's at 35 endurance and what that did was allow me to be able to light roll um, Now if there's one thing in this game that's absolutely busted at the moment That people just don't know about is light roll light rolling is so overpowered it gets you out of so many situations and it's it's just very good to have on a mage also that extra endurance really does help because something that a lot of people don't acknowledge a lot of the time is uh when you cast a spell you're not just using your fp you're also using your endurance um so your endurance kind of can uh determine how much you spam so if you're one of those wizards that like spamming spells uh, you probably want to have a decent amount of endurance just so you can, uh, you know, keep spamming if you want to. Um, which, you know, I don't really recommend. You should really learn how to press other buttons. Uh, for example, the parry button. The parry button is a very fun button to press. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've been parrying a lot lately in the game. It's been really fun uh, having to go back to basics because uh, I parried a lot in Dark Souls 3. I didn't really parry in Elden Ring until like just recently and uh, something that I discovered that's kind of helping me uh, get back into the rhythm of parrying is uh, there's certain meta weapons out there like the Rivers of Blood for example that are very very telegraphed and you can parry those weapons very very uh, consistently if you just know the timing just a little bit. Um, so for those of you who are out there trying to learn how to parry uh, you know do it on weapons like rivers of blood because they have really telegraph timing um dual curved swords people running at you pressing on one very easy to parry um moonville is a little bit trickier because it's a little bit a little bit faster um but yeah guys that's the video for today if you guys like this kind of content it's kind of built making content it's kind of pvp content it's kind of invasion and duels content uh, you know, hit the like and subscribe button. Right now we're about to hit 400 subs and, um, you know, we're trying to make it to 1,000 before the end of the year. And, uh, yeah, greatly appreciated. With that being said, guys, fare thee well. Peace out. All that fun stuff. I'll see you later.